Well, um, what can I say about these things? They are awful. I've got to be honest. Um, they're really comfy and they, they look great when they first go in, but they peel very easily because it's very thin layer on top of this foam. And if you want to use that to carpet a room, I wouldn't advise it because I've got to be honest, for what I paid for these carpet tiles from, well, from China, uh, I got a bit of carpet for about the same money, I've got to be honest. So I've taken these out of the hallway and replaced it with carpet. Yeah, I wasn't happy with how those tiles were aging. So now I have this very, very royal purple, Cadbury's purple almost, carpet in my hallway. It's only taken about, I'm going to be honest, maybe an hour to put down. And most of that is because of the door posts. We can ignore that edge because once I've got a carpet in there, I'll straighten it up and put a thing over it. But that's for another day. But yeah, the biggest pain in the proverbial was getting around the door posts and in the nooks and crannies. Um, I've got a lot left over, I've got to be honest. But that's because these days the minimum length or width you can order is four meters. But you can choose that dimension. So I've had to have four meters that way, which is why I've got like a meter and a half left on the roll. But I only had to buy just over a meter that way, which, you know, cuts the cost down. I think for this piece of carpet, plus the extra bit, I think it was about £40, which is basically what I paid on tiles and what I should have done first time. But there's no edges to catch with your toes or if you're dragging something through. And, you know, it matches the lampshade. So it ties the room together more like how I originally wanted than the pink and purple tiles did. And this won't get as grubby or it won't look as dirty because the pink tiles were horrible that's it in the light so yes we've got a new piece of shiny carpet well it's not shiny but it's a new piece of carpet in the hallway which won't deteriorate and it's stuck down properly i've used spray glue and everything whereas with the tiles i just laid them down and they ended up bulging and being awful so yeah that is now much better and i also now have a piece of carpet for I'll go through the kitchen past the vacuum for the front room where I've been doing all of the modifications, obviously where I took the section of wall out and the um, chimney and stuff, there's big gaps in the carpet. So I've now got a bit of blue carpet to replace it. Uh, I do still need to wait for an edging line along there and then I get this room cleared and get this laid and then that's that taken care of. But again, had to buy it in a four meter long piece. So what I did was I measured I basically I ordered the shortest width so this section of the room is like 2.5 by 2.1 and rather than ordering you know with it being four meters I'll take the two and a half meter out of that but I only needed to order 2.1 so but again this bit of carpet was only about 50 pound for this whole room but yes I do need to clear it first get the old carpet up and then put it down but you know, it's, it's been an interesting experience. I've gone from putting cheap carpet tiles down, putting actual carpet down. Um, I wouldn't recommend, well, I mean, on a personal level, I didn't want to buy the carpet that needed to have underlay and the grip rod and all that sort of thing. I wanted something that was either felt backed or foam backed, which I could just put some spray glue down, whap it on and it's done, which is what has happened in the hallway. But it's gone down quite nicely and it does look very, very nice. I am really rather taken with this. It doesn't feel too bad underfoot, given how thick it is, because it's not that thick. But because it is proper like weave carpet, it should last a heck of a lot longer than those tiles. But it does feel pretty good underfoot, given that it's a chipboard base, and I've just stuck it to that. It's come out quite well. <sighs> oh dear. Yes, I made a thing. I made a thing because it's funny and I've got a lot of tricycles and bikes and stuff like that to fix and all sorts of weird and wonderfuls. But for the moment, just getting a bit of carpet down, just a bit of quality of life stuff to make it easier for me. You know, when I walk through here on the day to day and there's a carpet that's lifted or a tile that's lifted or it just looks discolored, I just don't want to deal with it. But this way, I haven't got to worry about it. It's down. The only time I'm going to have to deal with this ever again is when I put the carpet in the big bedroom because I've just got to tidy that edge up. That's it. Anyway, that'll do it. You take care. See you later.